Arkansas Conservation Center. Tavern. This is called Cambridge Village, as you can see, it's the hills of Charles, the hills of Upper Parks and Lower Parks and Besset Hill, it's all in St. Joseph. So the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph are best referred to as the Scotland district. So more of talking out here. Parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph are best referred to as the Scotland district and they are referred to as such because of their resemblance to the Scotland countryside in England. Back into the St. Andrew Valley, we will come across the Alleen Secondary School again. One of Barbados' top on all the secondary schools. This yellow dandelion color building with red and maroon on it. And you can see the St. Andrew Parish Church in the background. And all below here is Bell Plain Village. from here as well. Take you back down to the road, near road, and another view of Bell Plain and the Saint and the Saint and Saint Andrew Valley from the valley here. Overlooking talking about Cambridge area again. Yes, please. So we are looking across to the east coast again, southeast. Starting from southeast, starting to the far end, will be the East Point Lighthouse, which is in St. Philip. 
across a concept bay, which is another fishing village, is another fishing bay, bay, fishing village in St. John. Then you'll come across the Bath Beach, also in St. John, then to Conk Martins Bay, Conga Beach, then to Tent Bay, Bathsheba, Foster Hall, for, I mean Bathsheba, Soup Bowl, and then Catawash, and then the Bark, and then the Barclay Spark Beach, which is on the Chalkimo, all on the east coast. Next door to Chalkimo will be the Sleeping Giant. It is referred to as the Sleeping Giant because of its shape, if a giant land on its back, with a leaf or something in its mouth. So this part of Barbados is known as the Scotland District. St. Andrew and St. Joseph is known as the Scotland District of Barbados. Because it resembles the Scotland countryside in England. You see over to the south and eastern side, it's looking kind of hazy if it is raining or something I ain't too sure what going on what was going on over there but they look like it raining over there and this is all Chalkimont village the historic Chalkimont this is a good place to come and watch the sun rise because we are on the east of the island the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, so we can see the sun rising here. The sun setting, I mean, it is sunset time, but, but it is a good place to come and watch the sun rising. Another good place to get a good bird's eye view of the east coast will be Hackathon Cliff which is in St. John that's a good place to get a good bird's eye view it's even higher than Chalkimo is <coughs> that is the second highest point in Barbados after Mount Hillaby or the third highest point in Mount Hillaby, Chimborazo and then Hackathon, Hackathon Cliff which is all on the Scotland district on the east coast of the island. So that's starting for the sun to set because I'm still getting dark quick because it's October when it running anytime from September, October into December. I would say it's starting to get dark quick. So it is just after 5 p.m. It's about quarter past five. So the sun should be setting soon. So, thank you guys for watching once again, and have a blessed evening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs on YouTube and on Facebook. My name is Dan Roy Demore, M W O R E. Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.